All right, we're back in Orgrimmar. And, uh... <laughs> taking a while for her to pop in, to render in. There we go. State your business to your war chief. You are not my war chief. The Nathanos has been updating me on your progress throughout your efforts. The Alliance and the Kul Tirans shall tremble before the might of my horde. Puh! The world is full of soldiers, champion. But few truly have the stomach for war. You, it seems, have a genuine taste for it. Though victory still eludes us, it draws closer every day. We must not rest until the last flicker of hope in the Boy King's heart turns to ashes. Called Tyrus has become a rallying point for the Alliance. The return of its vaunted navy has emboldened them. But soon those tide-born curs will pay the price for defying us. Uh -huh. You embody the best of the Horde, champion. I know that you will be the spark that sets Boralus ablaze. For the Horde! Ah, uh, well, there may have been at least one thing in there that you said that I might agree with. I perhaps do embody the best of the Horde, just not your Horde. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Ah, uh, so I am finally got the Ready for War achievement, so that part is done. So the initial war campaign is finally done. Which means half of the requirements for the Maghar Orcs are now ready to go. And the Dark Iron Dwarves, because that'll carry over to my um, Alliance character for when I try to get the Dark Iron Dwarves unlocked. So it looks like this is the next part. The work to start the Alliance is far from over. But thanks to you, we have the methods necessary to break them. The Abyssal Scepter has been delivered to King Rastakhan, earning us more of his favor. There is a matter of greater importance that I would speak to you about, but not here. Meet me aboard the Banshee's Whale within Zuldazar. We will claim what is ours. Come forward. Sorry, I just had to go. get a spit... I have there. much to do. Alright. And now we'll take off. By the way, I had this uh, character join a different guild that was much larger, like over 900 members. And they're pretty nice. You saw that I got the achievement and someone said grats. That's always nice to see. Ooh. Oh, this guy's got that uh, staff probably from Siege of Orgrimmar because that's what uh, Gorhal from, from that raid looks like. Alright. Let's go see Sylvanas again. Ooh, I gotta take care of both of these. And you get 3,000 artifact power. That's nice, but I really want but I really want from these is the, the rep. With the honor Do you the need protection? Azeroth. Go I have a feeling the Champions of Azeroth one is going to be the one that takes me the longest to do. Kind of how the Wardens one was the one that took the longest for me to do in Legion. But those world quests were relatively fine that I liked because they were basically uh, kill this one really tough boss. And that's all you had to do. And I was like, I'm cool with that. <laughs> So far, the Champions of Azeroth world quests have been go around and use your heart to absorb 
Azrite power. So, and that's how it is right now because I haven't progressed to Najatar to get the Heart Forge to get the new updated version of the Heart of Azeroth. So I'm curious whether or not the um, Heart changes based on that chain, or, or uh, let me rephrase this. I wonder if the world quests, those world quests will change when you change the Heart of Azeroth. It's a little bit of a curiosity I have. Anyway, I think I have an idea as to where this next part is going to go. Okay, so I'm on the Banshee's Well, and there she is. And what do you know? She's looking at Derek Proudmore's body. What a surprise. I'm pretty sure I know what she's about to do, because this is Sylvanas. And we kind of know how she operates at this point. Especially when she got the power to be the War Chief. Serve me well. And you will be rewarded. Derek Proudmore. Yes. You'll do nicely. What did you want to speak to me about? I'm not calling her that. I refuse to call her that. The Behold the fruit of your labors. Derek Proudmore. The corpse you recovered from the depths of the sea. It shall prove a valuable weapon in our war against Kul Tiris. A dagger to plunge into the very heart of House Proudmoor when the time is right. And thanks to your efforts, the Horde has secured the might of the Zandalari fleet. All that remains is to finish breaking our foes. Then we will have victory in this war. You are an idiot. Seriously, nobody is listening to Magni. But then again, she doesn't care. <laughs> Speaker of the Horde. This war is long overdue. The Alliance cloaks itself in righteousness and, and plenty rubbish. They spurn and revile anyone who does not fit into their narrow world. I mean, if that's part of his motivation, I at least appreciate, again, a little bit more of a character there from Thanos, if that's how he sees the Alliance and why he's so motivated to defeat them. Derek Proudmore's corpse will serve us well. In the meantime, we have more work to do. The Kulturans and Alliance are amassing a vast amount of their Azerite and Azerite weapons within Tirisgard Sound. They have a new supply of the resource thanks to the Kul Tiran's conquest over Lady Ashvane and her company. We must strike at their supplies of Azerite and destroy these weapons, or else we will be behind in this war. You and Zelling will travel to Tirisgard Sound and meet with Rexar. Lead the assault on their Azerite supply, and do not return until you are victorious. Get okay. moving. With the apple. Oops. Speak up. I gotta get more war resources so I can be able to do the mission where I get the other outpost that I unlocked. Just to get so you need to spend like at least fifty to hundred resources to just get the quest to get the uh outpost then you have to spend another hundred resources to do the mission to get the outpost gosh that's war resources are not nearly enough in this as order resources uh were in legion i still have a ton of order resources from legion look at that i still have fifty three thousand order resources from legion i have hardly any from here in bfa they made this far uh, <laughs> less to, to get than... It feels like it's much harder to get uh, war resources than the other one was. I'm, it just That's just how it feels. Now, where is Rexar?
he's way over there. Okay, so if that's the case. Look, Tar. Alright, that's where the new outpost is, so I'll just go to, to this uh, over here, the glacier. And then we'll make our way over. Pretty sure this is the area we were at before. And over there is the main hub for the Alliance here in Kel Tiris. Morales. Yeah, I don't want to go over there. <laughs> That's pretty much suicide for me. There's our outpost up here. But yeah, this right here is... Obviously, I'll get to show it off more when uh, I do my playthrough of my Alliance character. Just trying to build up some more transmogs for him. Oh, someone did the heart forge stuff. We'll eventually get there. I'm just trying to do this in the supposed order. That's why I'm not jumping straight to Nashitar, because I'm not really supposed to yet. I'm supposed to continue with the main war campaign. I also got to do this, because what happens with Zalatath is a nice buildup into that. And also a nice buildup into the Crucible of the Storm's Raid, which then leads into Nashatar. And I did mention that there was no, it seems like there's no quest line to go into Old Year, but from what I know, there is a quest you get to actually uh, defeat Jaina in the Battle for Dazar Lore raid. So, again, I'm hoping to try and capture that stuff. I have no idea how difficult that's going to end up being in terms of trying to record it, just to show the story. Um, whether it be doing it in Raid Finder, or whether it be joining a group, or heck, maybe asking my new guild here, hey, who wants to do a normal difficulty run of uh, BOD? And see how many would be like, yeah, sure. I have no idea. Alright, let's see. I think I can just kind of make my way down here. By the way, I'm sure you've noticed, yeah, I'm back to rocking my old wolf transmogs. I decided to kind of hold off on the other. Oh boy. Uh, my bad. I didn't realize that was an alliance town here. Ah. Well, great. I'm flagged again. <laughs> I took a wrong turn. So sometimes when I've been doing stuff here, I'll get flagged. And either I'll run into an alliance player and they'll either attack me on sight. Or, you know, like if we're going to do a world quest together, like a tough boss, I'll let them know... I come in peace, I'm not here to fight you, <laughs> please don't attack me, and they'll be like, yeah, sure, that's fine. So it really depends on which players you come across. Fortunately, there's a lot of horde uh, NPCs here, so I think I'll be fine. I don't think any Alliance players would attack me with this many horde NPCs around. Now, what is that over there? Totes. Oh yeah, uh, we are close to Stormsong, and Stormsong does have like a, I think a lot of honeybee farms, I think. We'll go more into this when we actually go questing in Stormsong Valley as Alliance, but from what I, I know, that's basically what it kind of is. Hey, Misha! Hey, Rexar. My quarry needs. Oh, Zelling's here too. <clears throat> You're here. Our strongest warriors are eager to attack the estate. Let's not keep them waiting. The Norrington estate has a large cache of Azerite, along with the Alliance's latest Azerite weapons. We need to steal these weapons and all of their Azerite. Every weapon stolen is a horde life saved. When you're ready to strike, let me know. I shall signal our warriors to begin the assault. The Alliance and Kul Tirans will see the true might of the Horde. Let the hunt begin. 
<sighs> I really hope there aren't any civilians down there. Give the signal. Let the hunt begin. Phased out. A light forged warframe? Don't tell me that all of a sudden the 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 light forged Draenei are here. <laughs> Looks like they are. I was wondering where they were this entire expansion. They kind of vanished ever since the end of Legion. I hear the call of the wild. Our forces have the Kul'Tirans pushed back. The hunt begins. We must keep moving forward. Our goal is to weaken the Alliance, destroy their weapons, and steal their Azerite. The three of us will carve a path of destruction through our enemies. Let us go. <sighs> Rexar, please don't... <laughs> Please don't start to sound like you're some, like, like a, a warmonger obsessed with killing the Alliance. Please don't follow the path of Nathanos. For the Horde. I will help the Horde Just as they it. helped me. I remember taking walks here with my wife and children. Sorry, this isn't the time for remembering an old life. The Alliance have Azerite bombs and rifles scattered throughout the estate. I believe that our goal is to recover them. If only the Alliance hadn't chosen to use the estate as a testing ground. This was meant to be a place of peace. Enjoy what you have. I do like that Misha is fighting with us. Get him, Misha! Music got really loud. This is not the music. to fight on my own terms. You won't last a minute once this tank reaches full power. So you will watch your soldiers die only to delay your inevitable slaughter. Re Rexar. Please stop.
I just find it funny that of all the places that we first encounter the Light Forged in this expansion, this is it. Like, I don't recall seeing them at all at this point in the expansion. And all of a sudden, here they are. Along with their Light Forged Warframes, which I remind you, are walking death machines in lore. not even like associated with the music sound uh you know bar to t is like man they did not want you to have to change it I wish the Kaltirans did not try to bring the Norwington estate into this madness, but here we are. Never forget My what is precious to you. The Alliance and Kaltirans are no match for our forces. The Alliance and Kaltiran forces are in disarray. I can hear the Azerite tank powering up. Lieutenant Cole intends to fight us. Now that his forces are destroyed, let me know when you're ready to fight. The three of us shall destroy this tank while our warriors watch on. Good hunting. Every cool Tyran would gladly lay down their life if it meant bringing Dalen's killer to justice. Cole, at least, died with some honor. We have our victory. We must move quickly and take the remaining Azerite from the state. Our forces should already be moving the Azerite from the manor into our gyrocopter support. Let us move and ensure that we get every ounce of Azerite away from the Alliance.
Alliance foot soldiers. My fang and claw. So okay, seriously, this is bugging me. Okay, maybe that was it. But I have it this low, so it shouldn't have even mattered. Alright, for now it's just kind of like blasting it really loud, so I'm just gonna turn it off for the time being. Need something tracked? We must defend our warriors from the Alliance army while we recover this Azerite. Take the Azerite weapons that you stole and load them onto one of these gyrocopters. Misha and I will ride out and fight the reinforcements from the ground while you provide air support. We need to hold them off until one of our warriors can retreat with the until our warriors can retreat with the Azerite. For the horde. So that's what that does. That sounded like Colson. So that's what it does. Alliance forces are weakened, and our warriors are withdrawing. Make your way back to Westwind Weald. By fang and claw. You fought well. The day is won, and the Alliance has been weakened. The majority of our warriors survived, and we have the Alliance's Azerite and weapons. Be proud of yourself. You fought with honor today. Go and inform Nathanos of our victory here. The Azerite should reach them shortly. So be it. You did well, Zelly. Until we meet again. Rexa, wait. Is there any news from my family? How are they doing? Is it wise to dwell on your former life? Are you sure you want to know? I do. More than anything. Your family is well. Your wife purchased a small home with an Aram stand in Drustvar. And your children are well fed. Oh, that's... That's good. But how? We spent everything we had before my death. I, I mean, my transformation. You asked Lillian Voss that they be taken care of. She made sure they were. Miss Voss. I will have to thank her. And you, as well, Rexa, for indulging me. It sets my mind at ease, knowing they live well. It is nothing. Stay safe, Zelen. And remember... This is now enemy territory for you. Well, I think I'll just, uh, we call back to the Great Seal, and then just go to the port to go to the Banshee's Well. <sighs> this just does not feel like Rexar. I want the Rexar that we had in Warcraft 3. And it feels like this is someone impersonating Rexar, who what is do you ask of these loyal to Nathanos and Sylvanas. Instead of the Rexar that... that he grew a loyalty for Thrall and that horde, but he was also... 
you know, as he said at the end, like the the horde will always be his home. But he was, but he f always still felt more comfortable and at home in the wilds with the rest of you know the wild and Misha. And he didn't necessarily care about war. He cared about the horde. And I think, and that Rexar to me would have agreed more with the horde from Pandaria when. Thrall and Vol'jin were talking to I think it was either Chen or Terran Zhu and they told him that Horde means family because that's what uh, the Horde meant for Vol'jin and the Dark Spears because of the loyalty that they gave to them after what they did for them. Not this, Rexar. Mm. The War Chief's will be done. I've heard of your victory. Well done. The Alliance will be reeling from this defeat. The Azerite is being prepared as we speak for our next attack. The Dark Lady trusts that you will be willing to aid when the time comes. For the Dark Lady. Ah, so this is the Tides of Vengeance portion. Gotcha. Okay. So I also need to finish this up if I also want to get the Zandalari trolls done. Okay. The Zandalari do mm. not seem to like me much. So... I don't see it available, so I wonder what I need to do in order to get this available. Well, this is something I'm going to have to look up on Wowhead to see what the requirements are for each of these four different portions of the Tides of Vengeance achievement. So, I think this is what we're going to need to finish up first before we look to continue some of the other stuff. So, look at that. I got 2,000 rep with the Honor Bound. Nice. Very nice boost there. So, we're going to cut off here and I'm going to take a look and... Either we're going to do some, I might either do some more rep grinding, or we might go check out this quest for Zaltath, or maybe I actually should be holding off on that, I'm not really sure. Or maybe we'll try Old Deer, I'm not sure. I'll figure it out when we come back. Stay tuned. <laughs>